Hey guys, my name is Angit Bharia and welcome back to the channel. We are at such a beautiful location here in Chitkul and we are on the way to Spiti. So I thought why not to make a video about how you can get better with the smartphone videography. You know, a few weeks back I posted one video on mobile videography like how you can take better shots and then I asked one question like what kind of device you use to shoot your videos and almost 80% of you guys use smartphone rather than a DSLR. So I thought, you know, why not to make a video about it and then I asked like what kind of videos you want to see on mobile photography and then a lot of you replied that you want to know everything about how to take better shots with the phone like what are the camera settings that you need to keep keep in mind and all those things so we are going to talk about those things in this video so now let's start it for this video we're going to use oppo reno 7 pro which has recently been launched so all of the shots that you will see in this video will be from this phone only now the first thing that is the most important in any phone which is the camera settings so the first thing in your camera settings that you need to look at is whether your phone shoots at 4k or not if it shoots at 4k then set it to 4k and set the highest frame rate like this oppo reno 7 pro shoots in 4k 30 fps so i'm going to set it to that and then the next setting i'm going to change is set the exposure to lock on af basically you know when you're taking shot if you're moving from left to right or you know down up you're taking different kind of shots if you don't lock the exposure then it's going to change as you move the camera and it's and it's not going to look professional so always lock your exposure now the last thing you need to look at whether camera shoots in slow motion or not like this phone shoots in slow motion so i'm gonna set it to slow-mo if it doesn't shoot then you know look for highest frame rate for example if your camera shoots in 1080p 60 fps and then set it to 60 fps and later in the editing set it back to slow-mo so that you will get a nice slow-mo effect because your timeline will be 24 frame and then you are shooting on 60 fps so 60 divided by 24 you can slow it down almost 2.5 times i think which is which is fine so if you don't shoot at slow mo it's fine just shoot at 60 fps and then later do it in the editing see these kind of examples that we shot using this phone now some people use third party app to control all the settings like shutter speed iso and white balance and all those things but i'm not going to suggest you to do that because it defeats the purpose of using a smartphone if you're using a smartphone it means you want to take out your phone shoot it on the go and get it done and move to the next location if you're going to use all the settings it'll take time and you might miss out on the movement and i think in my opinion if you use the default camera app and just change few settings it'll be good to go like locking the exposure set it to highest quality and if you're shooting a slow motion then you can take it 60 fps or use the smartphone slow motion feature all those things just do it and you're good to go now the second thing is the camera composition this is also really important how you're going to frame the shots there are different techniques that you can follow and then you will get better with the time you know how to take better shots for example if the subject is looking left side you should a little bit you know keep a frame two third of the frame on the left on, on this side so that the audience is gonna feel the view like you're looking on the left side and you should be on the one third side so for that you know you can open up your camera app and in this you will see that the camera grid lines you can turn it on and accordingly then you can frame the shots better you will see all those grid lines you can keep the subject in one third and then two third you can uh, show the landscapes so this is one of the technique now the next thing is most of the time we take shots just like this we don't care tilt the camera up or down you know and we just don't try different things like maybe like this or this so you can try all those things also for example if you will take lower angle shots then it look much better than a straight shot but also it depends on what kind of shots you're taking for example if you want to show the emotions then you want to frame a shot like you should be very close to the subject or so that you can see his or her face and all the emotion you can see on the face it will take a wide angle shot like very wide shot in the full, in which the full subject is seen then you will not feel like what the subject is feeling now if you will keep on practicing all those things what i've told you then you will get better with the time and then you will be able to take better shots we are shooting this video in such harsh conditions <laughs> यहाँ वॉक भी नहीं किया जा रहा इस बात पे एक लाइक तो बनता है नाउ विल टॉक अबाउट द नेक्स्ट 
tip. So the next thing is to use the shallow depth of field. Now basically what does it mean? Your subject will be in focus and rest everything will be blurry or out of focus or it will have a nice shallow depth of field. Nowadays a lot of phone comes with a bouquet flare mode like this the Oppo Reno7 Pro has a bouquet flare portrait mode which is going to create a flare uh, in the video like when you turn this on it magically creates a bouquet flare in the background while your subject will be in focus and it gives a nice variation to the video when you combine with the different shots and you know when you combine this shot it looks like if you have taken the shot with the DSLR and the result comes out really really nice but there is one uh, technique that you need to follow when you're taking the shots you need to keep the subject half frame because when you take a full frame it will not look uh, pro it will look amateur because the phone creates using the software and if you will keep the subject half then uh, your subject and the background will look very good it will look like you have taken with a DSLR so use this tip and take the shots now the next thing is the camera movements there are different kind of shots for example you can take follow forward follow backward you can take a circle shot you can take a parallel shot you can take a jib shot and you can also do transition shots I've talked about all the shots in the previous video which I have mentioned the link in the description also you can go and see all those different kind of shots but I want to add few more tips so like there is one big difference between the amateur and the pro like when you talk about the amateur they take shots just like this they won't move much they will do just stand at one location do the panning thing and maybe they will do something like this and get done with the shots and maybe they want uh, like follow the proper technique when you're taking shots handheld you should walk with your legs down and something like this I'm just giving an example so that you will get stable shots but I'm sure that amateur won't do these things they will just take shots like this with one hand just like this and the, the, the footage will look shaky so that's what you should keep in mind always add movements to your shots for example like one of the shots I really like is the chip shot like you will reveal the subject and you're just doing like this it's one of the different movement and maybe you're taking a circle shot like when uh, I remember I asked my friend hey take my circle shot so what he was doing is he was taking shots like this this is not circle circle means you should move when you're taking shot like this like this maybe you can take half semi circle shot but you should move your phone when you're taking shots maybe you're taking a follow forward like this you're moving right so it, it gives the movement to the shots also one more thing is to create more movement in the shot when a subject is walking rather than just walking at the eye level you can just start walking you know close to the ground keeping the phone at the ground level and then start walking it will create more movement now one more tip is sometime when you're in the open field uh, you can use something in the foreground to show the movement for example see this like we just used a tree to create a movement and we're just moving very slowly we can take a stable shot using this so these are all the things that covers camera movement now let's move on to the next thing now the next thing is to take the stable shots nobody likes shaky shots so you want to take a stable shots right nowadays a lot of phone comes with already inbuilt stability like Oppo Reno7 Pro has ultra steady feature when you turn that on you get really stable shots like a gimbal you don't feel like you won't feel like it's taken just using the phone and see these samples like we're taking with and without and you see a major difference for extra stability you can use a gimbal with the phone this will give you a creative freedom to take different kind of shots because with the gimbal you will always get stable shots but obviously when you're shooting run and gun you don't want to you know take out your gimbal can put the camera and then just turn it on use it it takes a little bit time because with the smartphone you want to use it as quick as possible a lot of people won't use the gimbal on everyday basis right you just have your phone and you want to shoot it so use the ultra steady feature of your phone and get done with the nice shots it's getting very hot right now so I've removed my jacket tell me how am I looking now the next tip we can talk about is to use the focal length of your phone for example Oppo Reno7 comes with three lenses one is wide normal 
the last one is zoom lenses. Like if you want to take a close-up shot, then you will use the 2x uh, lens, and then if you want to take a normal shot, you can use a normal lens, and then for all of the landscape shots, like you need a wide open landscape, you can use a wide angle lens. Because you need variations in your shot when you take creating a B-roll. If you don't have variations, your B-roll won't look exciting. So try to use different focal length and see how it comes out. Now we have made it to different location. It's Dhankar Monastery in Spiti. And let's talk about the next tip. The next tip is be creative with your phone. For example, you can try out different techniques. Like one of the things I know that you can use extension pole to create a drone-like effect. Very less people have seen these kind of different shots and this will make the video more interesting. Also, you can use different features of the phone. For example, this Oppo Reno7 Pro has AI color portrait mode. Like when you turn on that feature, it will turn everything in the background as black and white and just your subject will be colored. And one more feature is AI highlight mode, which helps you to take shots against the sun. Like when you take shots against the sun, either your face will be bright or the sun will be bright. You can't take both at the same time, but this feature helps you to take both at the same time. So that's also a good thing. Now let's talk about the last tip but before that let me say that this is also the last place of our spiti this is kaza and right now we are at the highest motorable village in spiti in the world <laughs> so the last tip is to do the color grading and to add black bars in your videos to create the cinematic look now till now we have talked everything about shooting but in this tip i want to talk about why color grading is so important because it creates artistic look and you know you create a vibe in the video you it can be dark it can be vibrant whatever colors you want to give in your videos you can do by doing the color grading your phone records the raw footage just the natural colors but you know according to the mood of your video you should change the colors and that's how your audience will be able to connect more and Adding black bars gives a cinematic look. Just try new videos and see the final outcome. It's gonna be really, really good. With that said, if you like the video, then do give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for future videos. And let me know in the comments below if you wanna see more videos on mobile videography. I would love to create those videos. Just let me know. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care, bye-bye. Dhanyawad from this beautiful place, Spiti. Now, we'll head back down to the Kaza village. This is the highest point I'll talk more about in the vlogs and that's it from this video. Bye-bye.